15 exotic animals you can actually own. Before we dive right into this video, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers' comments. CC Sparkles one had this to say, Love you. Aww, we care a great deal about you too, CC Sparkles one but it's best if we stay friends. Thanks for commenting. Now, back to our video. Number 15, a tarantula. The thought of having a random spider in your room is enough to freak people out, but to purposefully keep one in there, that would just be a huge nope. Even though tarantulas seem like they're super terrifying, they can actually be easy to take care of, and it's very rare that they'll bite someone. Keeping one of those arachnids will take some dedication as they can live to be around 10 to 25 years old. Number 14, an emperor scorpion. Scorpions are some of the animals such as spiders, rats, and snakes that just make people completely freak out. Of course, that's understandable as they come equipped with huge claws and a tail that delivers deadly venom into the bodies of its victims. The emperor scorpion, however, doesn't have a lethal sting and is surprisingly docile. The sting will still hurt though. This species of scorpion is common amongst pet owners and they can grow to be a scary looking eight inches long. Number 13, Madagascar hissing cockroach. These Madagascar hissing cockroaches aren't the ideal pet for people who hate bugs or for people who are just sane in general. These creepy crawlies can only be found on the island of Madagascar, hence their name, but they have been showing up in other areas as well. Typically, one of these roaches will only live for around one to three years and are actually pretty easy to take care of. They don't bite or fly, and they don't really require too much attention. Be warned though, just two of these bugs can create up to 60 little babies at a time. Number 12, a bearded dragon. Bearded dragons have been typically reported at being around $100. These reptiles are originally from Australia and were introduced to the United States back in the 1990s. Jump ahead to the present day and you can expect to find bearded dragons in almost any pet store. Bearded dragons get their name from the spikes on their head that look like a beard. These calm animals make great pets that can live between five to eight years. Number 11, a kinkajou. These cute little members of the raccoon family are found living in the rainforests of South and Central Africa, but they can also be found living in people's homes. That's right, kinkajous are gaining a lot of attention as they make great pets that display high levels of affection. Not only that, but they're also described as being docile and very playful. But with any pet, this is a lifetime commitment as they tend to live around 20 to 25 years old. Number 10, a sugar glider. For around $200, one of these cute little sugar gliders could be all yours. These marsupials are native to the Australia, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesian regions, but they are bred here in the United States with certified breeders who have a permit. They've become quite popular in recent years and bond with their owners remarkably fast, so you will need to spend a lot of time with them. Number 9, a skunk. When you think of a skunk, you don't automatically think of these stinky mammals as pet material. Yet, in some states here in the US, it's perfectly legal to have a skunk as a pet, with the exception that you first have the animal's scent glands removed, which is kind of cruel as it's their most effective defense mechanism. Plus, skunks are nocturnal, which means anyone who values their sleep should not get one. Number eight, a wallaroo. Wallaroos are called so because their size is a tiny bit smaller than a kangaroo, but they are larger than a wallaby. There are only four species of wallaroo that are native to Australia, and these animals need a lot of space to jump around and dig, which is one of their favorite things to do. Sometimes they can dig holes that are up to three feet deep. Number seven, a capybara. Known as the largest living rodent on earth, the capybara is definitely an unlikely pet. They usually grow to be around 100 pounds and are becoming quite a popular alternative to cats and dogs. Most notably, they can be trained and some have even been certified as therapy animals. These animals do require a large amount of space and prefer to live near a large body of water as they are semi-aquatic. Number six, piranhas. Piranhas are small, but they sure are fierce considering that they're able to strip flesh off with their sharp teeth. Piranhas are found in the waters of South America but they've been showing up in other areas with bodies of water because it's believed that the owners of these fish are just getting rid of them. This could prove to have ecological consequences to the native area. Number five, a python. Pythons can grow to be extremely long, with some of them measuring up to 17 feet long. That being said, you'd think these enormous animals would be quite a challenge to care for. However, that's not the case here. See, certain species of pythons are pretty docile, can be cared for pretty easily. Some of them also come with special mutations that enhance their appearance and have set to been sold for thousands of dollars. Number four, a capuchin monkey. This species of monkey, like most, are extremely clever 
and have been made famous by the media and productions such as the TV show Friends and the Night at the Museum franchise. These primates demand a vast amount of interaction with others of its kind and tend to become quite aggressive when it reaches sexual maturity. Remember, just because you can legally own one of these with a permit in certain areas doesn't mean that you should actually buy one of them because oftentimes they get abandoned by their owners. Number three, a squirrel monkey. These adorable little monkeys are found out in the tropical forests of South and Central America. They typically only grow to be around two pounds because of how relatively small they are, but they actually have the largest brain out of all the other primates. These monkeys are very affectionate and social creatures that require lots of attention. Keep in mind though that they do cover their limbs with their own urine in order to mark their territory. A baby squirrel monkey can cost up to $800 while an adult can be anywhere between $1,000 and $1,400. Number two, a chimpanzee. Chimpanzees are one of our closest living relatives in the animal kingdom, but that doesn't mean that they should be living with us in our houses. While chimpanzees are legal to own in certain areas of the US, it should be noted that mostly male chimpanzees can have rather aggressive natures and can attack without any given warning at a moment's notice. Some owners have even had their entire faces completely destroyed because of the primate's sheer strength that outmatches a human's by five times. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments section which one of these animals you'd want as a pet, and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, an alligator. Alligators are one of nature's most ferocious living creatures, what with their destructive bite force and notorious death roll. So why would keeping one of these as a pet be completely legal? To be more specific, this is only allowed in the state of Florida, where it's one of the two states estimated to have a gator population of more than one million, the other being Louisiana. Further restrictions state that you must obtain a special permit in order to keep the class two animal with the exception of American alligators. Since there are only two species of alligator alive, that means you'd only be able to keep a Chinese alligator. 